are you? And what's it like now being here with the fans on the carpet and so many people in such a secret place for so many years? I know, who opened the gates? What are they doing? And I hope they've wiped their feet. <laughs> um, for you, seeing so many fans here and being able to share such an amazing place for such a long time for you, what's it like like for you? Yeah, I know, it's, it's good. I mean, it can only be good for the British film industry, this sort of thing. And um, yeah, it's nice to share it, isn't it? Because we were privileged to work here and to experience the sets and the amazing craftsmanship and the, uh, the, the beautifully detailed props. And, and it's good to be able to let everyone else come and have a look at that and appreciate it. Um, you know, I think all too often we, we get up at the end of a film and the credits are rolling and we don't think about what goes on and how those, those films were made. And uh, this, is, this is a chance for people to come and appreciate that. And it's exciting. If you like Harry Potter, you can step into the, the world here. You can step into the, the Great Hall. And this is the real Great Hall. This isn't a mock-up. This is it. So that's exciting. Well, I want to know, when are they going to do a Leprechaun studio tour? <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. Um, I'd be there. Would you? There, you? Yeah, you'd be the only one. I'd be all right, and I'll see you again. Come on through. There's the face, and there's uh, Shillelagh. What have you got next coming up? So obviously, Life's Too Short was a great hit. Are you going to do more of that stuff? Uh, there's a special of Life's Too Short coming up, um, and uh, I'm soon to embark on travels around the globe with Mr. Carl Pilkington for uh, An Idiot Abroad 3, the short way round. That's fantastic. I didn't know about that. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. Enjoy the tour. And uh, thank you for, for these amazing films for the last 10 years. Cheers. Thanks, Warwick.